It's a bright Thursday morning, the 20th day of September 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda, where we look at stories making headlines across the country. Let us start the bulletin from Kavale District. Now, the sweetest land of Africa, as Kavale's founder referred to because of its hilly terrain and cold weather, has had a new twist to its otherwise tourist getaway role at Lake Bunyoni and the nearby windy, impenetrable forest. Two weeks ago, what appeared to many as an overhyped launch of a simple plastic collection structure during the Mayor's Week has turned out to be the new cash cow for low income earners in the area. The, co the community has embraced the venture so much that two days after the launch, 1.2 uh, tons of plastic had been collected at the site. The site was constructed by beverages company Coca-Cola and, and is managed by Entus Resort and Retreat Center, a local tourism area center in the area. Now earlier this year Coca-Cola announced that it was reshaping its approach to packaging with a global co with a global goal to help collect and recycle the equivalent of 100% of its packaging by 2030. It is against the background that Coca-Cola which said it has so far collected 34% of all its packaging is amplifying its plastic collection and recycling effort to the distance districts through partnerships with municipalities and local non-government organizations. Moving on to Kamuli District, Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga has supported a move by female legislators to have the policy governing the governing Uganda Women Entrepreneurship Program Fund revised. Kadaga made the remarks during the launching of joint evaluation and monitoring of UWEB projects by female legislators under the umbrella body, Uganda Women Parliamentary Association, UWOPA, and UWEP officials from the Gender Ministry. The exercise, which kicked off in Kamuli District on Tuesday before being extended to the entire Busoga region, will be rolled out across the country. The legislators, who were by Dorothy Kabaraitse, the acting chairperson of UOPA, visited two women groups in Kamuli. The groups were Kananange Women, a women Poultry Project and Mutiwa Fruit Processing Women Group. Kabaraitse, the Kamwenge District Woman MP, reported to Kadaga that the focal persons at sub-counties, especially, especially the chiefs and community development assistants, were corrupt. She said leaders had crippled the program by demanding bribes from women before uh, guiding them on how to open bank accounts. You're still watching New Vision TV news, but before we continue with more news making headlines across the country, take a look at what is making headlines into this copy of the New Vision. Now, for those who cannot access the hard copy, the link, the link is below, which is our e-paper. Subscribe to it and you can receive all the products produced or published by Vision Group. You're watching New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Rathena Sujil. Let's continue looking at more stories making headlines across the country. Let's go to Kayunga District. Now, show group prison, uh, prison officers and prisoners at Intenjo Prison in Kayunga Kayunga Town Council, Kayunga District, when a prison warder allegedly shot dead an inmate before turning the gun on himself, accusing the prisoner for having an affair with his lover. Moses Okello is said to have, to have shot Pastor Elijah Nurani, who was serving a seven-year sentence. He was convicted by the Kayunga Magistrates Court of impersonating a CMI detective and obtaining money from the public 
by false pretense. The District Criminal Investigations Department, Chief Isaac Mugera, say the incident took place on Tuesday evening at about 4.30 p.m., but declined to divulge details, saying investigations on the matter were still ongoing. The untried police, whose officers are a stone, th a stone throw away from Intangel Prison, arrived at the, at the crime scene and fired tear gas plus paper spray into the latrine where the warder was hiding. They were they had feared that the warder could be alive and cause more havoc, only to find he had shot himself too. Residents say the officer fired about seven bullets before hiding in the pit latrine. A source from the prison said Okela had been off duty for two weeks following submission of a request to be transferred. Finally, from Kaperebyong district, now Eto Radio is holding week-long celebrations in five major markets in the five districts of Teso region to, ma to mark its ninth anniversary. Now, these celebrations kicked off in Adipala Juba Market in, in the nearly created district of Kaperebyong on Monday, where many fans walked away with prizes. There were also live performances by top Teso artists, Vibe Chan Lee, Uncle Ben, and Joseph Oluka. Business people in the region said they made huge sales due to the many people that turned up from as far as Karamoja and Bugisu regions. The activation, dubbed Angali Na Etop, will end tomorrow in Okorimongin Market in Katakui Town, Katakui District. Sorry. Now, Crown Bottling Company. Pepsi, MTN, and Movit have patterned with Etop Radio, one of the six radio, one of the six radio stations owned by multimedia company Vision Group. Now, since its inception, Etop Radio has maintained its position as the number one listened to radio station in Tesla subregion, according to a study conducted by a research firm Epsos. That's all we had for you from Mirror Athena Seje and the New Vision TV team. Remember, you can get my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and our social media platforms. Find me on Ruth The Voice on Twitter. Thank you for watching.